Hello, and I am back for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I believe this is part 6. Yeah. So, uh, before we start the night, I just want to say that I am recording this particularly later than usual, around 10 o'clock. So if this episode runs long, it probably won't be up until tomorrow. And if that is the case, then I apologize. But I'll make up for it in the way that, uh, two episodes tomorrow, each half an hour. Okay. Now, without further ado, let's begin. The fifth night. I'm gonna mute the call this time, because I remember pretty clearly what the guy said last time. That's what he said. Bueno. Alright, so, we'll start off the night uh, expecting the worst. Because... Let's be honest, that's what's to be expected. Yep, we already got activity. And you are... Faxinho. Alright, so, uh, nothing special about this episode. I mean, night five, but aside from that, it's really just another episode. Uh, I will be putting on the mask a lot more often. Because, uh... I, I know to take this night seriously. Alright, I'm gonna take this opportunity here to my full advantage. Alright, looks like Bonnie's gone, I believe. Yes, she is on the move. Um, and so is old Bonnie. Bubble Boy? Yep, him too. Alright, I'm gonna wind up the music box. So expect Bubble Boy and the two Bonnies, but I'm, I'm assuming that won't last more than five seconds. Yep. There's Foxy. Oh yeah, him too. Duh, I'm an idiot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're both gone. Didn't expect that. Thankfully, the marionette decides to show mercy this time around. That's good. Alright, so don't take this night lightly. This is what I'm getting at. And crap, we are using way too much energy than is needed. And still that eye is very creepy. Screw it. Alright, I'm getting ready to put on the mask at any second. Booyah! What you gonna do about it, Chica? Yeah? Who you gonna call? Oh, new Chica, that's who. Yeah, when old Chica fails, Calling the new Chica, cause that's totally gonna work, guys. Totally. Totally radical. Oh, stupid Bonnie. Twix up for kids. And again, I felt it necessary to do that voice. Really? This is night five. Night five. Why are you here? Crap, crap, crap. Alright, still getting, uh lucky with the marionette tonight, but I'm sure that'll run out rather soon. Oh, you Freddy, come on. What is this? It's just like last time, except probably even easier. Someone's in the vents. Okay, I know what to expect now. Apparently that is also what I have to expect now. Which is stupid. Si didn't even leave. Are you just doing this to piss me off? Come on! Wait, two at a time? I didn't even know that was possible. Holy crap. Literally, old Chica showed up and new Chica was like, what's up? Weird. Definitely weird. But how come... I thought it was supposed to lock you in place. I guess that's actually just with the uh, new Bonnie, though. Hmm. Weird. Huh. That marionette's getting pretty annoying. Alright, I'm gonna count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shit hits the fans. Oh, not yet. How lovely. Really? I'm suspicious already. There we go. That's more like it. This is a night five I should be expecting. Seriously, what's up with all the new animatronics today? 
That's nuts. I mean, I know that the idea is to have everything coming at you at once, but those guys aren't the threat. Well, technically, new Chica just killed me, and I'm pretty sure that's for the first time, too. And old Fox is being pretty stubborn. Just as I say that, he's gone. Yep. So. Zippity doo da, zippity day. Hmm. Ba da da da, ba da da da. When the lights went out, I started singing faster. I didn't even notice. Screw it, I don't have time to figure it out. Alright, give it a full boost. For the love of God, Balloon Boy. Oh, I guess Bonnie really is the only one who's like that, because obviously Balloon Boy... Huh. Come on. Show me what's freaking. Well, I'm dead, folks. Come on, Chica. Cut me some slack here. Well, at least he's not all the way out. That would have been bad. That's no good. And Freddy. Because reasons. Camera getting pulled down. Oh, surprisingly not. Three. Does this work? No. I think I have to keep it up for longer for that to work. Getting ready for him to pull it down. Ready for Freddy. Actually, can this one even pull it down? I don't even remember. Come on, balloon boy. Hurry it up. I don't have all night. Actually, I sort of do it. Really, the new one? It's the best you got. It's like when the marines don't work and you just send in some random guy in his... Who has... I don't know. Like some guy It's like... Sent to fix your cable... What? This is Independence Day. This is Independence Day. That's what this is. They... The old animatronics fail at the army. And then they send in, uh... The guy who has absolutely no experience with anything whatsoever except fixing your cable box. To, like fight off the alien invasion. Like what is this? See? See what I mean? By the way, you're not creepy. I've had turrets with cute little voices that were creepier than you. Uh speaking of other PC games, um was what does anyone here think of Mother One? Because I was thinking when I'm done with this game, I might do that next, so if anyone's interested in the Mother series, because honestly, I am ecstatic to do that. The only thing holding me back is I don't know if that's what you guys want. I mean, I'll do Mothers 1, 2, and 3. I mean, 2 will have to wait until uh, I find a way to record my uh, co TV screen, but... Because I have Earthbound on the Wii U and the Super Nintendo, so that's not a problem. But actually, like, recording it would be. And as for Mother 3, uh, that will wait until I finish Mother 2. So it all depends on if I get something to record with, and if you guys really, really want it. Because in that case, I'll definitely do it. Like, without a second thought, I will. Like, it's not a question, just, well, it is a question, that's why I'm asking you. But no one ever comments, I mean, no one commented when I asked about Containment Breach. I'm still waiting off on that one, though. For those of you who have absolutely no idea what the flying hell I'm talking about, I think that's like 
earlier part of Five Nights at Freddy's, I believe it was part two, when I first got sound. I know, it's like back in the 1930s. Wow, I don't think that that was because of the mask. If that was, that was just pathetic old Freddy. Let's see, who's in the vents? Oh, great. Alright, come on, I don't... Actually, yes, please take all day. That's actually rather preferred, in fact. You wanna match a Luigi? Don't question it, it's legit. No bullshit. Do 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 do. You know, guys, I didn't mean to pull up that camera just now. I'm serious, I didn't mean to. That was a total accident just now. I'm just gonna... Night 5 on the third try. Why do people say this game is hard? I've never played Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And I was like, oh, so much harder than the first game. No, it isn't. I just got a hundred dollars and fifty freaking cents right there. It's like the easiest hundred bucks and fifty cents I've ever made in my life. Paid to the order of Jeremy Fitzgerald. Welcome to the family. Fazbear Entertainment. November 12th, 1987. Hardest game ever. Night five of my third try, guys. That was a gold freaking star you see right there. So, hell, we're only ten minutes into this. It's time for night six, guys. So, I'm gonna shut up, as usual. Getting goosebumps thinking about it. Oh, hello. Uh, what on earth are you doing there? Didn't you get the memo? The place is closed down. At least for a while. Someone used one of the suits. We had a spare in the back, a yellow one. Someone used it. Now none of them are acting right. Listen, j just finish your shift. It's safer than trying to leave in the middle of the night. Uh, we have one more event scheduled for tomorrow, a birthday. You'll be on day shift. Wear your uniform. Stay close to the animatronic. Make sure they don't hurt anyone, okay? Uh, for now, just make it through the night. Uh, when the place eventually opens again, I'll probably take a night shift myself. Okay, good night, and good luck. Huh. That must be when the guy killed the kids. Alright, I'll bite. Also, this music box, you cannot tell me that it's not draining faster. Because if you do, you're bullshitting me. Uh, so... The thing is, everyone treats Night 6 like it's the hardest thing ever, when really it's just the same, uh, change, uh, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, the same learning curve as Night 3 and Night 4, Night 2 to Night 3 even. Honestly, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say this now. This is gonna be a walk in the park for us, okay? Because I am the best. You're the best. Okay, I've learned from my previous recordings that I am tone deaf, so yeah, I'm not singing. And yeah, this is definitely going down faster. Stupid chica. Ugh, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. You can't hurt. You can't hurt me. Me and my freaking tunes. Okay, I can't help it. I don't care if everyone in at home bleeds from their ears and their eyes from my singing. I'm freaking singing. <laughs> Damn, I thought I got rid of Foxy to be honest. Huh. Good move there, Foxy Mule. Alright. Attempt two. Only 15 minutes into this recording. And we're not giving up just yet. Six night. 
I want to at least unlock the custom knight by the next episode at the latest, but I don't think I'll need that long, to be completely honest. Uh, oh, wait, my bad. I didn't beat that five and three tries. Oh, my stupid. That was four tries. And I probably already got a million comments telling me I can't count. Oh, wait. There's the good side about not ever getting comments. So, hooray for being unpopular. Okay, that's using up way too much flashlight energy. Just forget that whole stupid McMahon 2 thing. Uh. Crap. You guys. You guys really don't like me tonight. Wow, Mary Knight didn't even show his damn head. Alright, you there, Foxinho? Nope, it's just Freddy. Okay, I'm safe. Okay, when was the last time in a Five Nights at Freddy's game did you hear someone say, Okay, it's just Freddy, I'm safe. Yeah. Only on the flip side, ladies and gentlemen. Only on the flip side. But to be honest, he's much easier to deal with in this game than he was in uh, the first game. But I'm sure there's going to be some overpowered broken thing that appears in at least this night that's going to absolutely murder me. And for those of you wondering, hey, didn't you watch Markiplier's videos? Well, I actually tried to avoid Night 6 video because I want to uh, have nothing spoiled for me. So everything from this point on, no matter what, will be new to me. I'm just saying that now. Well, obviously stuff like Old Bonnie won't be new to me, but you get what I'm saying. And I'm not making that mistake again, dumb fox. You know what the fox said? It said, piss off, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Well, I'm screwed. Unless... Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, never mind. I'm gone. Well. Take back what I said about the marionette being forgiving on night six. Let's see, how else can I insult this game? I already said that Freddy looks like peanut butter. Hmm. That star is stupid. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. Hmm, that star is so stupid. And you're a poopy head. Yeah. How do you like that? You're a poopy head. <laughs> oh, my jokes are the best, guys. Grr. So, Majora's Mask 3D was announced about a week ago or something. Uh,. And anyone who saw the video where I briefly, well, not so briefly mentioned my top five games will know that I'm a pretty big fan of Majora's Mask, so Hello. you could probably guess the two of you that I'm excited. Also, we have seen very little Balloon Boy on this night, so that's surprising. Not a bad thing, just surprising. Man, Foxy is stubborn tonight. Jeez. he even find out okay it's gone Hello. coast is clear ladies and gentlemen and by coast I just mean hallway I don't mean the entire east coast cuz I'm sure that's not clear there's probably at least one paranormal event somewhere along the east coast Come on. and yes I am a firm believer in the paranormal Hell, if, also, something I like to point out is that uh, the amount of paranormal movies I've seen, the amount of paranormal games I've played, the, par the amount of paranormal stuff I've read about, I think that at this point, we could say, we could just call the paranormal the normal at this point. I'm sorry that was the worst joke you've heard in your entire existence. Please forgive me. Also, there's something that I've included in every description in all of my videos so far, except
except for the first two, which I was going to add in soon, that no one has noticed yet, but they probably did and just never commented. Because absolutely no one cares. Okay, to be fair, I think that it also winds up faster now. So that's a plus. So, uh, if anyone out there knows Ikyonkan, if, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, he's a really cool YouTuber, really underrated. His SCP Containment Breach videos are awesome. I mean, he knows more about that game than anyone else on the planet except for me. That's saying something. And he recently started Let's Playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And he... <laughs> He messed up. He thought that he was playing demo when the full version was already out. But hey, how is he supposed to know? Don't blame the guy. Uh, yeah, but his Five Nights at Freddy's 2 video was actually pretty cool. Left him a couple tips. Uh, so if he's watching this by any means, then... Hey, what's up? I was actually holding my finger on control right there, but... Eh, whatever. Anyways. Uh, so... He, his channel is crazy cool, the stuff that's on there. And I think I'm going to see a lot of cool stuff coming out of his Let's Play. And I like how he freaked out about himself dying on Night 1. I mean, I died Night 1 too. Once, and so did he. I think that he's going to be just as good at this game as I am. Uh, yeah... Check out Eric's videos, they're pretty cool. Oh, yeah, uh, what I wanted to s why I brought it up in the first place was because right at the end of, I believe it was the end of night two, it might have been the end of night one, I can't quite remember, but it was just the funniest damn thing. He was like surrounded by guys, like coming from everywhere, basically how I am each video now. And he had Foxy just jump him, straight up jump him. And it's like, well, he's dead. And literally halfway through the death animation, Foxy had his claws up to his forehead, 6 p.m., 6 a.m. It's official, he's the luckiest freaking person alive. I mean, he somehow got past that 049 tunnel in containment breach where it was like all of the s uh, hey foxy uh like there was 173 all was spawning behind him 049 and his two zombies it was nuts that guy is the best luck in the world but that was like really cool he just started to do his like little jujitsu chop like in preparation to defend himself and then just like BOM 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 No, that's Norfair, Moron. Uh... So, it was actually like, I thought, well, he's dead. Hey, why'd the game freeze? Oh crap, it's 6 o'clock. He really is the luckiest man alive. Well, no, because if he was the luckiest man alive and had a fortune, uh, yeah, he wouldn't even care about you two. Which, eh, he does. Definitely. He doesn't show much, uh, emotion on your records, but you can- <laughs> Okay, that last one was bullshit, because you actually- Slow that- go back. You saw my flashlight go on before Foxy jumped me just there. I saw it, and you saw it, and Bonnie saw it. If that was even Bonnie, I wasn't paying attention. Someone was back there, though. Alright, night six is middly harder. <sighs> Man, my hands are freezing. Uh, 24 minutes in. Alright, I'll end it soon. Maybe two more attempts. Hey, Pinky in the brain. They're mangle, they're mangle, and the brain, brain, brain. I promised I wouldn't sing, but that would be insane. Ba da da da! Ba da da! Ba!
Man. This isn't Knight of the Foxy's level, but he's definitely more stubborn than he ever was before. You stubborn, stubborn little fox man. Fox man. Woo! Ugh, morning breath. Come on, Chica, right in my face. So, in relation to the first game, I'm legitimately curious who Jeremy Fitzgerald is. He says that he's working the day shift, so... And, uh, the guy who's calling us now will be covering the night shift, so he's gonna be dying soon, I believe. But... How Jeremy Fitzgerald fits into all of this since he's being transferred to the J shift as well. I am legitimately curious. Come on, Foxy Nyo. One, two, three, four. Uh, I've seen in Marvy Pan's videos he does it slower, but I don't think it has to be slow, it's just that Foxy wasn't as stubborn back then. And four is pretty good. And five and six were okay. But seven suck big dinosaur balls. I've had that song stuck in my head so much. I guess that's what happens when you obsessively play as Mega Man. I'm sorry, what? Was that? Was that Golden Freddy? So we officially found the bullshit one-hit kill thing of this uh, night. Oh come on, balloon boy! Fucking hate you! Don't give me those eyes. Fucking happy, you damn pervert! And I like how it looks like the marionette just jumped out of the wall there. I know he can go around the place pretty quickly, but really. I don't think he's a ghost. Well, he is, but I don't think he's the kind that can go through walls. <sighs> Man, my voice hurts. I have some sort of a strange addiction to vitamin water. So I always keep some so from now on I'm always keeping some while I record. Hmm. I'm trying to think of things to talk about. Uh, they won't stop announcing Mega Evolutions for the new Pokemon games, and by all means, I have no problem with that. And that's not sarcasm, I, I really have no problem with that. I mean, I'm getting that freaking Mega Metagross. It's a shiny! Wait, okay, I thought there was someone in here because it wouldn't let me put down the mask for a second, which was weird. Come on, Foxy. See, always either you, Balloon Boy, or Marionette. You three are so stubborn. You're like Kumatora on a bad hair day. Speaking of which, Kumatora for Smash. Like, everybody has been demanding Lucas come back. And I will too, if they decide to do something different with him instead of making him a nest clone. And here are my demands. Uh, get his freaking uh, final smash right. Make it PK love or something. I don't care if it ends up being broken. I want something other than freaking PK Star Storm. And the only two people who ever learned Star Storm are Kumatora and Pooh. Clearly, Ness and Lucas are neither Kumatora nor Pooh. Uh, he should know PK. Well, he, I guess it would be bullshit if he only knew PK Flash. Because all he knew in the games as offensive PSI were Flash and, uh. Flash and Love, obviously. Come on, Chicanya. Okay, good. 
Well, I sort of put my force myself into a corner here. Now I have to outweigh Balloon Boy and hope Marionette doesn't come for me. Okay, I got lucky there, but I'm not getting lucky again. You know, if Marionette straight up knows who I am, then obviously wouldn't he just like, like why would he just decide to stop halfway? Just freaking come for me, dumbass. Mind you, I'm not complaining. Do not take that as me complaining. Oh, hey, what happened to your hand, Chica? Huh, interesting. Didn't notice that before, but Chica is handless. Maybe she should borrow one of Foxy's hooks. Eh? Eh? I'm sure he's got a few spares and parts in service and... Flying fuck are you doing here? Better be something good now. To make up for that. Nope, it's still you. Eh. Okay, I just realized I'm using way too much Flashman. Flashman's weapon. Which is pretty stupid. <laughs> I'm tired of it forcing me to sort of be in my mask mode, and I second I press control, he just sort of jumps at me. All right, last attempt before I'm ending this. It's already half an hour in, and I don't want to lose track of time like I did last time. Yeah, I said that I would. On I said that I would cut it up into two parts, but as soon as I said that, I realized I have absolutely no editing anything at all. I mean, I'm good with it. I take a computer's class in school. So I'm damn good with it, actually. I'm just broke. <laughs> Be blunt about it. And we have activity already. Wonderful. Hello. You know, never have I hated Balloon Boy more than I have a night nice six. And that's what that hello just made me think of. This night's getting too serious. That's better. And we haven't had a bullshit Foxy event strategy yet, but to be fair now we know how to deal with it, it's pretty easy. Alright, Foxy's gone, cheek Bonnie's here. Foxy's gone, Bonnie's here. Fox yep. Oh no, just both. Straight up and blunt about it. Hello, Foxa. Foxa Fasta. Fox Tangles, woohoo! Yeah, so what I figured out is basically don't even waste time putting the mask down for Bonnie. Because although that that's that was weird. Even though that's definitely like the way to go. That has been Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Part 6. I think. Yeah, 6. So, next time on Five Nights at Freddy's 2, we're taking down Night 6. See you all on the flip side. Wait, which one do I use? Oh, yeah.